Got it. Okay. This makes sense. All right. I, I got the picture now. So uh, essentially, what are you guys looking uh, to do with me? So is there anything like obviously wrong with the soul setup which you see or the direction we have been going in? Like, it seems like we're kind of going in circles uh, over the last one month or so. So is there something obviously wrong with our approach which you see over here? So uh, I would recommend doing new creatives for okay. one. So testing new creatives and then uh, essentially cutting these ads that aren't getting any results sooner rather than later. So like, for instance, like these right here, like the real estate, the arts, the boot camp, all these different things, cutting them, turning them off before they get up to these higher numbers. And then are okay. you on CBO? Yeah, yeah, we are. But like all of these campaigns have just one ad set inside the campaign, right? Because this is when we are trying out uh, multiple uh, audiences and trying to figure out which ones you would want to scale out. Yeah, so I would stick to, oops, let's go this way. Yeah, so I'd start cutting these here, like just cutting them early on shifting the budget towards what's already getting results. And then I'd focus on new creatives, like have like three to five creatives, and then also uh, go ahead and launch some interests that are focused on um, coding, like coding-based interest and like stack development, full stack, all those different things, people who are interested in that. Sure. Um, those have not been working. We have tried those, but those don't work for us. And then go down the engineering path. Testing more engineering ones. Okay. So when you say cutting them out too uh, early on, what what is early on? Like how how soon is early on? Like in within twenty four hours, is that good enough? Like uh, no, you want to give it at least forty eight. But the thing is, if it spends this much, like for instance, right here, like you already have a lead, you already have a registration here for that cost for less than that. Right. So turn it off. Same here, you already have one for less than that. So turn it off. This one has five for seventeen, but you're paying. You know, you could have six here instead of zero here. Right. So turning this off moves the budget more towards this direction. Sure. And when you get more leads or registrations, uh, the system will start optimizing and getting better at sending more in. Okay. And uh, and like, is there an optimum audience size which we must be keeping at a at certain budget? So how does it work? Like right now, we are trying to keep the audience sizes between 500k to somewhere around five million. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I try to keep it a million plus, but those are fine numbers. Okay. And the budget, like even as we scale out the budget, eventually, even if we, uh, per campaign, it wouldn't matter. You wouldn't need to, uh, add in more audience. It'll suffice. No, you can just scale it as is. Okay. And, uh, any particular reason you think like why there might be these uh, alternating switches that, you know, on certain days it performs in between on certain days, it does not. And it kind of switches very fast. It's not like it performs a five days in a stretch and does not perform three days. Like it performs on alternate days, it does not perform on alternate days. Whereas in the Indian market, we see a very consistent performance. Yeah, that's uh, because you got to be able to identify a consistent audience and consistent ad that'll just maintain cost. You're going to have days that are going to fluctuate. Um, that's just a given, but uh you're going to need to have an ad and audience that are just more consistent and being able to generate results. Okay. And, and you're going to need to exit can... learning as well. Otherwise it's just going to continue to fluctuate. Yeah. And once the ad goes into learning, uh, learning limited and should we leave it as is, or should we immediately close it down? or keep the No, if it goes into learning limited and it's generating results and you're fine with those results, leave it alone. But, uh, Essentially, if you can get it out learning limited, try to do so. Having less audiences per campaign always helps because you can get more results. That's why you want to cut some of these to push more of the budget into the other ones to help them. So, yeah. so the other thing is that what we have done is that these are like uh, independent campaigns. These are not ad sets right now. Like it's not a single campaign with multiple ad sets. These are like one campaign having one ad set. Oh. So, uh, yeah, if you have to move to a CBO based campaign, so what does that exactly mean? How do we do that then? Oh, you're going to want to keep. Gotcha. You don't want to split out your audiences by campaign. You want to split them out. 
like So right here is the most searched topic actually is CVO. So CVO structure, these are resources. You can actually search trainings and stuff. And like, as you can see here, like this is how you should layer, this is how you should do your CVOs, like CVO interest and have all of them underneath your campaign. This is the campaign and this is all the ad sets underneath. Then that's your lookalikes with all your lookalikes underneath. Then that's your retargeting with all your retargeting underneath, right? Following this model. Right now, you're having one campaign with one interest and you're doing another campaign then with one interest. That becomes problematic with your ads. So if we look at this, here's what's gonna happen. Let's see here. Let's go pull up a different one. Let's go back to the ad set level. Oh, these are all new, so there's not much space. Yeah, but uh, essentially over time, it's hard to show you here because it's not enough data, but over time you'll see that these are gonna start competing against each other. Okay, and where do you see that? You'll see it here in this tool, like using inspect, you'll be able to check it out and notice whenever things are, you know, competing. So like for instance, engineering is getting a lot. It's starting to happen here. So like your auction overlap is now at 8% because you're competing against your own audiences and your first time impression ratio is diving down. So like those, that's going to start happening across all your campaigns here pretty soon. Okay. You can see so auction when, overlaps growing. Okay. Uh, so even when we're trying out new campaigns, even when you're trying out new audiences, we should still do it in CBO. Yeah. But like sometimes when we have done that in the past, we, we have noticed that Facebook sometimes does not allow, allow does not uh, allow enough or does not spend enough money on the new uh, audiences. And uh, you know, that kind of, uh, Oh, you can, you can test on the ad set level, but you need to switch to CBO once you actually choose which audiences you want to keep. Okay. It's like you have to create a new campaign after that. Is it? No. Once you're done testing. Huh? Yeah. So once you're done testing, you can turn those off and then let it run for seven days to get back to where it's at, or you can duplicate and then use it from there. But as you can see, like right here alone, if they'll hover, you're at a 1% auction overlap with your audiences. Then one day goes by, you're at a 3%. That's a, you know, that's big growth. And then another day goes by and you're at 8.78%. I mean, it's an exponential increase. Okay. So I don't think we should be running only one campaign, is it? At a single time? Uh, not one campaign at a single time, just having... um like this, having your interest audiences underneath one campaign one and campaign so forth. With multiple audiences, uh, right. over two, three campaigns look alike and, uh, and like that. Right. And you can go through all these trainings here as well, like how to do it. Sure, makes sense, perfect. And any particular kind of creative which you would suggest that we should be using. We have seen that a single image creative has worked best for us uh, in the past. Yep. So has that been your uh, observation as well? Or? Yeah, yeah, typically they do. Yeah, single image. Okay, and is there a particular uh, uh, data set uh, size after which a lookalike uh, becomes relevant and we should be using it or it doesn't matter? 
like for example if we have like let's say 2000 people or 1000 people uh, who have completed a uh, form filled and based on that if we create a look alike will it be effective enough or yeah. do you need to wait for more a uh, thousand people's good okay and so what is the threshold over there i'd say like the the minimum you would want to have is at least 100 but a thousand is like the recommended starting point okay 